Hello everyone, today I have a destination wax haul to share with you. Um, I didn't grab a whole lot, I just wanted to grab a few Christmas and winter kind of scents. Um, I've been trying to keep my purchases smaller from each vendor because I know that I would like to purchase holiday winter blends from several different vendors so um yeah i think i just got the breakaway bars and i'm not even sure how many i got but i thought i would open it with you guys so i just popped the box open and it looks like this she always has really cute packaging going on I have my camera on manual focus again, or on, not manual, on auto focus again, so we'll see how it goes. I might have to end up putting it back on manual because it hates me and doesn't want to focus on anything. Okay, so we got our little sample bag here. It's just so cute the way they package everything. Oh no, I just love it. Okay, the first one I have here is, please focus, Sea Salt and Yuzu. Yuzu, I can't read it on there. Satsuma, apricot, lotus flower, aloe, and sea salt. That sounds good. Yeah, that's really nice and fresh. And clean smelling. I like that. I'm excited to try that sample. I'm filming in a different spot today because my husband's home. My kids aren't home, but my husband's home. So I like, I'm in our back room with the door shut. <laughs> Not that um, I need to be, but I just feel so awkward recording in front of people. So yeah. He'll probably make fun of me for sitting back here, but anyway. Um, the next one is strawberry crumble. This is strawberries and acai berries baked in sugar with a light topping of sugar cookie crumble. That sounds really good. If it's a strawberry that I like, it should be really good. That's pretty good. Um, strawberries, acai berries. Baked in sugar, light topping of sugar cookie crumble. Yeah, it does sort of smell like a berry crisp of some sort. I do like this strawberry, but it does smell, it's kind of that um, strawberry shortcake doll strawberry. Yeah, I do like this though. I think it'll be nice. And then the last sample is zucchini bread pumpkin. Zucchini bread with sweet pumpkin and spices. Again, this sounds like something I would like, so. Yeah, that's good. It kind of smells like, um, kind of smells like a snickerdoodle scent to me. I get like clove, cinnamon, I don't know, it kind of smells like a snickerdoodle cookie. So that's the samples. All right, oh, and I opened it upside down, so I'll just grab, oh no, I think some of them are just placed upside down. Okay, so the first one here is Winter's Eve, a winter evening curled up by the crackling, by a crackling fireplace. Um, does it say balsam? <laughs> yeah, balsam, cedar, and wood smoke. These are all new to me, I believe. Oh yeah, that's definitely wood smoke. 
But I do get the balsam note. Oh, I really like that. Very smoky. If you don't like smoky scents, I would not recommend this one, but I do, so that's really nice. Um, it's this really pretty, it almost matches my nail polish, <laughs> um, but it has glitter, like that fine glitter that's really pretty. I like that. Um, yeah, this smells really good. It's going to be perfect for winter when it's like snowing and freezing cold. Definitely super strong smoky scent, like realistic smoky scent. Like there is a fire outside somewhere, like someone is having a campfire or something outside. Or almost even like someone's burning leaves or something. Yeah, super strong smoky. I do look forward to that. Um, next one, this is kind of, is this the same color? I think it is. Um, this one is Rocky Mountain Pine, Balsam Fir, Colorado White Fir, Blue Spruce, Red Cedar, and Berries. Oh, that's really, really nice. I really like that. I guess I'll pull this one out too, but I think it's the same color as the last one. Oh my goodness, that is so good. You definitely get fir, spruce. I do get the red cedar. And you do get berries. It's like a deeper berry note with the tree notes. Oh man, this is so good. It almost smells clean in a way, but definitely tree. Oh, I'm so glad I grabbed this one. That smells really good. And again, it smells super strong. I'm getting wax all over the bags. Um, yeah, again, really happy with that one. That will be nice at Christmas time, but also all winter long. It doesn't want to focus now. There you go. Rocky Mountain Pine. Really good. Um, this next one is on the screen please. Spiked eggnog. I've mentioned a few times that I've really been craving eggnog since this year. Um, so I just wanted to see how this one was. It's vanilla eggnog spiked with rum, clove, cinnamon, ginger, and nutmeg topped with whipped cream. Sounds good. Okay, yeah, it's good. Oh, I think that's gonna be really nice on warm. It's not overly boozy. You definitely do get that rum note. Oh, yeah, I don't know why. I'm just like in an eggnog mood this year. This one out and it's like an eggnog color. Yeah, this smells really good. You definitely get the eggnog with rum and you definitely get all those spices. I feel like I'm getting ginger the most. Oh, it's so good. I really look forward to melting that. I'm like starting to hoard all of my wintry scents for, you know, until December 1st, but really I should just get a move on with them because it's gonna get to the point where I'm like, nope, it's not time yet, it's not time yet. And then it's gonna be too late and I'm not gonna get to warm everything. Um, the next one here is Scottish Hearth. Now it got dark, do I need to turn up the brightness? It was super bright when I first started. Um, Scottish Hearth is old world hearth fire of fresh applewood boughs tossed onto burning logs of white birch. Sorry, I'm trying to read it through my camera again. Oh, this is really nice. I think I picked up this one. Let me change this brightness so I can see if it helps. Um, I think I picked up this one because I saw 
was it Ramona talk about it or Susan Fitzpatrick? I can't remember. I saw someone talk about it and I was like, that sounds really nice. Okay, so let me show you this one. This one seems like the same color also. I feel like I got a lot better in the same color. Um, fresh applewood. Yeah, you definitely get more of that applewood kind of note. Um, tossed onto burning logs. Of, yeah, applewood and white birch. That's that's what it smells like. This is way less smoky than, what was that one? Winter's Eve. Um, so if you like a little bit of smoke and not a ton of smoke, I feel like you would like this one. Because this has a little bit of smoke, but Winter's Eve is like, you're going to be like, I don't know, one cube for your house is probably going to do it. And this one has a little bit of like, a sweetness to it yeah it's nice so far I'm super happy with this order um, I mean I kind of figured I would be okay this next one is coffee epic day a blend of rich dark coffee cinnamon clove and pink peppercorns this one just sounded really interesting to me um i have discovered that i do like coffee scents with cinnamon so i figured i would give this one a try since it sounds um like it is kind of spicy yeah i do like this um and a rich star coffee cinnamon clove pink peppercorn. I'm trying to see if I get the pink peppercorn. I think I do. I definitely get the cinnamon and clove, and that this is a rich dark coffee. It's definitely almost leaning on that like perm solution for me. But the spices in here definitely save it for me. Yeah, I really like this. I've been finding that, oh, that's so nice. Um, I've been finding that a lot of coffee scents are just a little too sweet for me. Um, I guess I shouldn't say a lot of coffee scents, but a lot of the coffee scents that I have on hand are a little too sweet for me. Um, so I wanted to Try something darker but I also know that I don't love super dark coffees that smell like perm solution um, so this has that darker coffee note but the cinnamon clove and pink peppercorn give it like the right amount of spice that I need to really enjoy it so I do really like this I'm happy I picked it up This reminds me of something from my childhood and I can't think of what it is. I don't know, it makes me think of, it makes me think of my mama, my great grandma for some reason. It, she wasn't a coffee drinker or anything, so I don't know what it is. It's, it reminds me of a place that I had been with her, but I can't pinpoint what it is. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know, I really like it. The more I smell it, the more I like it. Hopefully I can decipher what this is reminding me of. I don't know if you could see the glitter in this one or not. I don't think my camera will focus. Well, there you can kind of see. Um, it's like little tiny black pieces of glitter and they're kind of they're not like super sparkly so it kind of looks like little coffee grounds that's interesting i like that okay um next one i had to pick this one up it's honey pear cider um spiced pear cider sweetened with honey i know this was a scentsy scent and it had been around for years. I had seen it so many times. I may have even purchased it and tried it at one point, but I just can't remember. But I see everybody talk about this. Um, 
I see Carson talk about it. I see Susan talk about it. Um, I've seen, I think, Melanie from Mr. Kong's mom. I've just seen so many people talk about it. I was like, you know what? Even if you did try it before and you don't remember it, you need to pick it up and see what the hype is about because they make it sound amazing. It is really nice. Um, it's definitely a pear cider. It's very like juicy to me. This version, I don't remember. Like I said, I've definitely smelled the Scentsy version before, but I don't really remember it. So this version of it smells very juicy to me. You do get that like spice note that makes it a little more fall, winter appropriate. And I do pick up the honey, but it's not like a super syrupy sweet honey that is going to, you know, overpower it and be cloying or whatever. It's, it's a really nice honey because honey in scents can be a little too much for me sometimes. Oh, this is really nice. And it's like this kind of like a pear green color. Um, I'm loving the colors they're doing with these. Yeah, it's not like jelly bean, jelly belly pear. It's like almost there, but not quite. And it's not necessarily a realistic pear either. It really does smell like a pear cider. So yeah, glad I picked that up. I do look forward to trying it. I feel like that could even be a good like um, fall, winter bathroom scent just because it is really refreshing. Um, obviously the kitchen would be another good place for it, but it's, it's definitely a like melt anywhere kind of scent. Um, but it's almost, it's, it's kind of fresh. So I feel like the bathroom would be good, but you can melt it anywhere because it's just one of those scents. I don't know. I was starting to ramble there, so I stopped myself. Um, oh, okay. I picked up. Oh, come on. You can do it. There we go. Nutmeg and spices. This is, guys, there's glitter and wax all over me, so just don't mind that. Um, this is spicy warm blend of nutmeg, ginger, cinnamon, and clove with a little caramel and vanilla. So I don't know if this is the same as like other vendors I've seen offer scents like this. I don't know if it's just one oil or what. I'm sure it tells you on the website. Oh, it's so nice though. Definitely like a warm kind of blend. Hmm, I feel like I'm almost getting at my ginger cinnamon clove. I don't know, there was almost like a slight almond vibe at first. I don't know. I don't know what that would be from. I just realized that I haven't, like, I've been talking about these and having you guys look at nothing. I'm sorry. Um... Yeah, definitely a warm, spicy blend. Not like red hot cinnamon or anything. Really, really nice. You definitely pick up on like the smoothness from the caramel and the vanilla. Oh, that's so good and so perfect for winter. And it's this like tan color with that shimmery glitter that's so pretty. Yeah, that's really nice. Okay. Then I picked up this one, pomegranate cider. This is spiced pomegranate apple cider. Um, it says for a similar scent with more apple, see pomegranate apple cider. Um, that sounded good to me too, but I did want it to be pomegranate heavy. So that's why I went with this one. Okay. 
Okay, this is good. Spice pomegranate apple cider. Okay, I do like this. Um, I'm almost getting like a bathroom air freshener vibe from this, which I honestly don't hate. Yeah, it's reminding me of a specific bathroom at an antique mall that I go to with my mom. Like whatever air freshener they use in there. It is like kind of cidery though. Hmm. I do really like this. I don't know that if I don't know that it is exactly what I was expecting, but I do like it. It kind of has like a homey feel to it. Like a clean like you just cleaned and your house is all cozy but it's cold outside kind of vibe. Yeah, I'm not I'm not hating this. I think I kind of really like it. Um it's this like pink color. I don't know what that chunk there is about, but yeah, so, hmm, I do really like this. I think it would be really nice, like, after you clean. I don't know. If anybody else gets that that feel from it, let me know. Um, like I said, not what I was expecting from pomegranate cider, but not mad at it at all. Um, maybe I will try the one with more apples sometime and see if that's, like, more cidery it probably is but I like that um okay this one is you can do it incense and amber it is oud wood white woods incense spices and amber that just sounded amazing to me I love anything with incense so hopefully I will like this it got darker again I think it's raining oh no Oh yeah, definitely incense-y. You definitely get that amber. Really nice, this would be a really nice bedroom scent. Oh man, I think I really like this. Um, like the more I smell it, the more I like it. This one sounds like it's gonna, or sounds, smells like it's gonna be super strong too. Oh, that's so nice. I would melt this like living room, bedroom. It's just incense-y but pretty also. And it's this, I don't know, what color is this? Is it like taupey? with the shimmer. I think everything has had shimmer on it this time. Oh my goodness, that's so nice. I'm so excited about these scents. There hasn't been one that I don't like. Um, I was watching one of Carson's videos and he was saying how it seems, you know, like he just likes everything that he gets and I kind of feel that way too, but I feel like that's because I'm very specific with what I order. I don't really... You know, if I read a set description and I'm like, I think I'll like this, but, you know, it has that specific note in it that I know I don't like it, that I don't like, so maybe I won't like it. I don't know. I, I won't pick it up. Like, I pick up things that I think I'm really going to like. I don't know. So, most of the time I do end up liking them. I don't know if that makes any sense, but I kind of feel the same too. I feel like I'm pretty happy with the majority of what I pick up most of the time. Okay, and anyway, the last one here is... I'm not gonna focus, really, it's the last one. Come on. Frozen, frozen. This is cold menthol plus essential oils of eucalyptus and peppermint. So just like a quintessential wintertime blend. 
Oh yeah, that's good. Oh my gosh, that is like sinus clearing instantly. But it's also, like I feel like most people pick these scents up to melt when they're actually sick, but I just like enjoy the scent in general. The mentholy, eucalyptus, minty scents, they're just so fresh and clean to me. Oh, I love it. Definitely love this. And this is like a really pretty baby blue color. I think I just hit the tripod, so sorry. Yeah, and you can tell this is gonna be super strong. Um, again, this has some glitter, some shimmery glitter. Yeah, I like this too, so I'm super happy with everything that I picked up. Oh, that smells so good. It's kind of starting to like burn my, uh, my nose hairs though, so probably shouldn't keep sitting here and inhaling it. Um, so frozen, frozen. I know they have like other frozen blends that you can get, um, like frozen. I think there's a frozen clementine. Um, I don't know. I can't remember what the other ones were, but I know they have different frozen blends that you can pick up. And then I think there's just frozen by itself. I'm not sure what that one is. I don't know if that's just menthol or if it's just eucalyptus and peppermint. I don't know what frozen is on its own, but I love this. And I, I think I do want to try some of the other frozen blends. So We'll see if they have an opening in December. I don't know. Um, I'm super excited to get into all of these. I don't even know what my favorite would be from this order um, because they're all like good and different. Um, I don't know. It might be the Rocky Mountain Pine. Let me smell that again. Yeah, I think the Rocky Mountain Pine is my favorite from this order. But I really like or love them all. Um, I feel like this Rocky Mountain Pine is one that I could pick up in a loaf and feel good about it. <laughs> I'm going to have to see how strong it is and then I might just have to do that because that smells so good on cold. Um, but yeah, that's everything I picked up. So. Let me know if you guys participated in this restock and what you picked up. Um, I don't know if I've seen any videos yet. I'm not sure. But hopefully if people receive their orders, they are posting videos because I need to get more scent suggestions. <laughs> um, yeah, let me know what you picked up. Let me know what looks good from this order, what you would want to try from this order. Um, or if you've been, if you've tried any of these before, what do you think about them? Um, what's your experience with warming them? I would love to talk to you guys in the comments. So um, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're all having a wonderful weekend. Um, I don't know when I'll get this posted, but Hope you're having a wonderful day whenever you're watching this and I will talk to you all later. Bye.